Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us today. This is a really exciting day to make a wonderful announcement. And before we get started, I want to recognize Councilmember Richard Maloney, who is here with us today. Thank you, Richard. So Lexington cares a lot about fireworks. We want them to be big, to light up the sky, and to take our breath away, right? We want to look up to the sky on the 4th of July and go, ooh, oh, you've done it before. Well, get ready, because just 65 days from now, on July the 4th, right downtown, we will have those fireworks. And it's all thanks to these partners. RJ Corman has offered the launch site. Thanks to Ed Quinn, right here. Ed is RJ Corman president and CEO. And the presenting sponsors for Lexington's 4th of July festival who are supporting our show. Ball Homes, thank you to Lisa Ball, Ball Homes Executive Vice President, thank you. And Central Bank, thanks to Luther Deaton, Central Bank Chairman, President and CEO. Where are you, Luther? There you are. <laughs> thank you to all of you. After last year's fireworks display, there was much discussion about how we could improve. The city has been working with the Downtown Lexington Partnership, which organizes the event. And thanks to those who are here representing the DLP today, board member Steve Grossman, Steve, President Terry Sweeney, Terry, and Senior Event Coordinator, Laura Farnsworth. Come on up. We want to crowd the winner's circle here this morning. <laughs> we weren't making a lot of progress, and then, early in my term, Ed Quinn reached out to me, and I am so glad that he did. He expressed to me his interest in partnering with the city for the greater good. We were able to form a partnership to once again launch the fireworks from the R.J. Corman lot downtown. The fireworks display has been launched from this site many times. We are confident returning here to the R.J. Corman property will allow for a grand fireworks display and with support from Ball Homes and Central Bank, we will be able to afford a great show produced by world-famous Zambelli Fireworks. First today, let's hear from Ed Quinn, President and CEO of R.J. Corman. R.J. Corman is a world leader in the railroad industry, but locally, we know them as an outstanding community partner. Ed, please tell us what the fireworks mean to Corman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, R.J. Corman's very excited to be to be here and to and to bring the fireworks back to downtown Lexington uh, in a safe environment and a, we think an ideal place to uh, to view the fireworks. We're standing here. Uh, next to the Lexington Yard, which is part of our Central Kentucky line, uh, which is the largest of our, our 13 now railroads and 1,000 miles of track that we operate. We have multiple businesses that run in 24 different states, but this is home. Our headquarters are, are here in Central Kentucky. Out of the 1,700 or so employees that we have, uh, roughly seven, 700 live and work in Central Kentucky. So. We're very excited about uh, uh, about bringing this back downtown, uh, providing a we think a, a great and safe place to, to launch the fireworks. Uh, and again, I want to thank the mayor, her staff, uh, the first responders that are going to be here and helping everybody uh, during the Fourth of July. 
uh, Central Bank and, and Ball Homes because we couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you very much. Thank you again. That's great. Thank you so much, Ed. Ball Homes and Central Bank also have a long history of being committed to our community. They are this year's presenting sponsors for the Lexington 4th of July Festival. Having these fireworks at this location and using Zambelli fireworks for a large display would not be possible without their support. I want to thank Luther Deaton. Luther, thank you again. And Steve Kelly, who's also here with us from Central Bank. I also want to thank Lisa Ball and James Parsons, who are with us from Ball Homes. It's also important to hear from our 4th of July festival organizer, the Downtown Lexington Partnership. Here with us today is DLP board member Steve Grossman. Steve? Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Linda. As we know, when people work together in the community, great things happen. And we're excited to have the fireworks downtown again. It's such a huge economic driver for the downtown during the 4th of July weekend as well. On behalf of the DLP, I would like to thank Ed Quinn and the entire team at R.J. Corman Railroad Company for their willingness to host the 4th of July fireworks for 2019. Additionally, without the support of Mayor Linda Gordon and her staff, this endeavor would not be possible. We are excited to continue our partnership with many divisions of city government in producing meaningful and high quality events for all of Lexington. Next. You can't thank them enough, but I want to thank the Ball family, Ray, Linda, Mike, and then Jim Parsons, who's our CFO, for their support of this event as well. Their investment in downtown DLP allows us to produce events that are free and accessible to the entire community. We encourage residents of Lexington and our city's visitors to truly make the 4th a day to remember in downtown. Registration is open for the Bluegrass 10,000 uh, foot race, a road race. Jim, you got your entry in, don't you? Okay. <laughs> and vendors will spend the day with an assortment of food, drink, and more. Our parade will entertain all ages, and many of our town down restaurants, bars, and retail shops will be open for business and ready to show off all that we have to offer. Thank you. Thank you so much, Steve. Today is just May 1st, but we are ready for the 4th of July. Lexington is ready to celebrate our nation's freedom and to do it up right with fireworks and fun for everyone. If you can't tell, we are pumped up. <laughs> so thank you all for being here. And if the media has any questions, we'll do some one-on-ones. Thank you so much for being here.